Honey. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. It is um, a while since I started a new vlog to be very honest. It is the end of March nearly. I can't believe we're going to be soon going into April because this year just feels like it started but no. Um, somehow time just keeps flying by but it is um, the end of March like I said and um, I don't know why I haven't vlogged in a while like I did vlog in Feb and then I just did not pick up my cam and vlog in March because I have just been so overwhelmed with life lately that I just could not fathom the idea of vlogging while I'm already like doing everything else like work's been busy and everything's been busy but I decided to finally pick up the cam and vlog again I am still reading the same book that I was reading the last vlog, but I am also reading another fiction besides it. Reading a lot of non-fictions, but I don't think I'm going to be discussing those this vlog. Um, I just wanted this to be a chill reading vlog where I discuss what I'm reading. There are no, you know, I would say expectations that I'm going to put myself, like put on myself. I'm not going to like have... To finish the book I'm currently reading I want this to be just chill and not stressful um, but yeah I'm still reading um, Sweet Temptation by Lucy Diamond I am 140 something pages through it and I'm also reading another thriller which is um, The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager I'm actually buddy reading this with my boyfriend and I am only like 78 pages through that so I'm honestly not that far through both of the books, which is fine. I am reading quite a few non-fictions. One of the books that I'm rereading right now is The Four Agreements by, I think it's by Don Miguel Rui. This book is something that I have been rereading um, since quite a few years because I just feel like I like to remind myself of The Four Agreements and just, you know, live my life according to them. I know that it's not going to be perfect, but it's something to just ground myself. Um, yesterday I did paint my nails and look at how pretty those turned out. I love them so much. But anyway, um, I am going to go back to doing some work. I have a bit of pending work that I need to finish for my like work work. And I was editing a vlog which I got done from Feb, so finally I'll be uploading that. And I feel like I am now back on track with editing my vlog so I can start a new vlog and not fall behind. So I'm just hoping that now I'm just gonna you know, edit and upload my vlogs as and when I film them so that I'm not like with a whole lot of backlog that I don't feel motivated to edit anymore. Um, but the plan for today, like I said, is to finish all my work and then I'm stepping out for dinner in the evening um, So that's gonna be nice and then tomorrow I have some plan with my friends So gonna be doing that um, I'm getting a call which is A spam call um, But yeah, that's my entire plan for the day and then I don't know how much I will vlog on the weekend, but oh Honey's sleeping here and her year is literally at the edge of the She got a haircut a while ago, like two weeks back, and she looks so different with a haircut, but still she's so, so cute. I also have an ASMR room in the background, which is really cozy. So yeah, that was the update. I'm gonna go ahead and um, carry on with my work and take you along my weekend, hopefully. And maybe a little bit into the week if I don't end up vlogging too much. Um, and there is, like I said, no agenda for this vlog. But hopefully it's still going to be a chill, fun, and relaxing one. It is the um, evening. It is 6pm. I'm actually having some 
Earl Grey tea. Um, this is a tea I got from Chaim to try out and I'm loving it. It's their Baron's Earl Grey tea and I was actually filming a video about this which I want to put up on Instagram. I'm not one for making a lot of reels but I kind of want to try making them um, and I did not know you could use like your normal DSLR camera to make reels which is so cool um, but this is their box that I got and it is so cute. I actually have one from them in the assorted range that I had tried out before but this is one of my favorite flavors and I highly recommend it. I'll actually link it down below in the description box if you're interested in purchasing it but I'm gonna go now and actually edit that reel and then get back to work and then I'm gonna step out at 8 o'clock for some dinner out and it's gonna be a good day. I'm feeling better today than yesterday. Yesterday I had a really low day, but I'm so glad I'm feeling better. <laughs> Good afternoon, so it is Sunday. I am currently reading on my Kindle. I have been reading I Didn't Do the Thing Today um, by... Who was this by? I don't know who this is by. Let me just check. It's by Madeline Dore. So this is a nonfiction that basically... I'll just put like a title here so that you can see it. Um, but it talks about basically letting go of productivity guilt and not feeling so guilty about not doing you know, things that you deem productive every day and just trying to stop filling your days with so much to do and just you know enjoying your day for what it is. And I feel like I struggle with this so much because I feel like I should be doing something on my off days. I should be um, making content or you know editing or doing anything that's just productive and not wasting my day entirely which is why I struggle to just sit down and read a book or just sit down and play on my switch and even though I've worked hard like really hard to be able to get all these things that I love I feel like I struggle to just sit and relax and let myself do all of those things like I really get in my head I feel like I should be doing stuff like a gazillion other things like making videos and baking and you know I feel like yeah it gets really toxic which is one reason why I you know thought to also take a break from YouTube and I feel that even now I'm not really sure if I should be making videos for a while or I should just like you know let it be and only make them once in a while and try and just let myself relax because having a full-time job and then trying to make videos is really really exhausting um, so yeah those are just a few of the things that were on my mind um, but <laughs> coming back to today it is Sunday I am going to be cleaning my room which is kind of a mess like not a lot of a mess but I have to keep the laundry I had to change my bed sheet and then I have to go and wash my hair and stuff and it is 1 p.m. now, so I'm hoping I'll get done by 3 o'clock or for the most. I also plan to bake some brownies to take to work. And I also want to set aside some time in the evening, just sit in my balcony and read and play something and just relax. That is what I want to do today. It's my intention for the day. I'm not going to... Um, you know make it like a should but rather just a light intention of things I want to do it's okay if it all turns out differently I'm just trying to practice what I read in the book um, I also kind of want to journal and stuff but I don't know if I'll vlog everything I'm just feeling like I want to do the thing and not vlog and bother with the camera right now but um, I feel I'll be taking this uh, vlog only till tonight because the week is just going to be busy and I know I won't get anything done 
like reading wise or anything wise really but if i feel like the vlog is too short i will take it to into the week a little bit but um i haven't really read anything in my fiction just because i have been so caught up in my head and also yesterday i did have like my friends over so we were just chilling at home and watching movies we watched two great movies on netflix one was forgotten which is like a korean movie it was a thriller like a psychological thriller it was amazing and then we watched uh this romance movie called far away on netflix again it was a 2023 movie and it was amazing um like it was a really light relaxing movie but it was so so hot warming and i highly recommend both the movies like both of them are really different from each other but love them um but yeah i also wanted to film like a video for like a book haul and stuff but i feel like i just want to take a break now and do all my things and i'll probably shift that to later when i feel like i do have the time i am going to be um getting to doing everything and i will see you in the evening with a few updates um and hopefully i will let you know what i read and everything and most probably end out the vlog Mm, wow, it's been a month again. What is today's date anyway? 26th of... Okay. Shit, that's been... I just feel like I'm slowly getting back to who I want to be. It is Monday evening and I can't believe I remembered to vlog, but I did. It is not even 7 p.m. yet. Wow. So it is 6.50 p.m. And I just got back from work at around 5.30, went and had a shower, got changed, and then grabbed myself some ice cream. This is the Alfonso and Peach ice cream by um, this ice cream called Upsara ice cream in India. If you do live in India, I would highly recommend. And this is their Go Zero range, which is like zero sugar. And then they have vegan collection and... Um, high protein collection and everything and these taste so good i honestly cannot believe that ice cream can taste so good and still be healthy like i know it's not gonna be like super healthy but it's still better than normal ice cream and it's phenomenal my so far my favorite flavors are strawberry mango and then there's cereals and fruits or something it's delicious i have loved them there's also guava glory that you can have it like masala but i feel like it wasn't as sweet as i would have liked because guava is not like naturally sweet but mango strawberry are amazing i think mango and peach is like all right this is like alfonso and peach and i feel like the peach kind of cuts through the sweetness of the mango and i like just mango so it's a little tropical for me but it's still really really delicious perfect for the summer and i would highly recommend but 
um, a little bit of a reading update. So yesterday I was feeling quite low. I don't know if I vlogged like after I was reading, but like in the afternoon I was not really feeling like vlogging. I felt like I might just not continue this vlog, but I'm feeling much better today and I feel like I'm gonna continue this vlog up until maybe Wednesday because then Thursday is a public holiday. So I might continue this till Wednesday and then end it there. Um, and I'll just update you on my reading till then. So I did read a little bit more yesterday of the house across the lake by riley sager and so far it's quite intriguing i am on page 120 now and i feel that i am definitely um getting more interested in the plot now and there are things happening um and i can't like tell you much about it and obviously when you like listen to the title itself you know it's going to be about this woman who's spying on her neighbors and then something goes wrong that's just how it goes um it's not like something that is as um i would say like i don't know how to compare it with the woman in the window i have read the woman in the window and i did not like love it that that much um but i'm guessing that this is gonna be better considering it's riley sacred but i did not like his book home before dark so i'm, I'm just gonna go with the flow and see how it goes so far well i'm not really sure but i think it might be good like i'm optimistic and um jamie from jamie's library she had really loved the book and i really like her recommendation when it comes to like thrillers because she had like loved final girls by riley sager and i had enjoyed that sorry i just need to throw something but yeah that is how that's going this lighting is horrible so the plan now is to just chill out a bit um watch a vlog eat my ice cream which is kind of melting so i'm gonna get to eating it and i am also going to be knitting for a while and then i will be editing for like 15 minutes before relaxing and reading more i did not pick up um sweet temptation by lucy diamond so far but my plan is to read it this week a little bit I don't think I'll finish any book by Wednesday to be very honest. At the most I might finish a non-fiction because I am um, rereading The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Rui and um, I feel that I can finish that really quickly because I only have like 50 pages I think to read and then um, I might at the most like read a little bit of other non-fictions but I don't think I'm close to finishing anything. Oh, I'm also listening to um, an audiobook. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm reading to, listening to my Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella, and I am quite far through that book as well. I am, I think, like only two hours remaining from the end, so I feel I can finish that as well by Wednesday. I'll let you know, but um, I'll give you more updates on that book like later on at the end of the vlog, but. It's going good so far. I feel I might have mentioned it in my last vlog. I've been listening to it for a while, but I'm reading so many different books that I feel like I just want to tackle and end some of them. And like yesterday, I was like feeling like picking up another new book, which is um, The House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, but I just didn't. But I feel like I might because I've been feeling like reading fantasy, but it's just that I have so many books that I'm reading currently that I don't know if it's a good idea to pick a new one, but, you know, I think of it like watching TV shows. I do, like, you know, watch different TV shows, and it's okay. So I feel like it's okay if I'm reading different books, um, and I don't want to be, like, overwhelmed by it, and it's okay because I still can track all the storylines. Um, so, yeah, I don't have to, like, finish all of them before I start The House of, the, the House of Earth and Blood, but I am going to be starting that probably this weekend because I want to read it during my spring break, which starts next week. So, might be picking that up. Also, um, I started a new TV show yesterday. I completely forgot about it. I started The Patient on Hotstar and it is so good. I'm three um, episodes in and the therapist in that show is Michael Scott from The Office, which is ridiculous because he's playing this really serious role and I couldn't believe it. But that show is amazing so far. I'm three episodes in. It's a thriller, like a psychological thriller, and I would highly recommend it. It basically surrounds a th therapist um, 
who is being held hostage by one of his patients and it's called the patient if i didn't say so already i like put a poster here um but loving it so far so yeah a lot of tv show and movie recommendations will be coming your way just because i've been watching quite a few of those but i might just make a separate video about it let's see but it's time to eat my ice cream it's half melted um i will see you later with some reading updates maybe and yeah enjoy this wild ride <laughs> So it is Wednesday evening. I got back from work a while ago. It is 7.15 p.m. I look fresh because I had a shower and I got ready again because I'm going out for dinner. Um, I'm going out to this new Korean place that has opened up. Oh, like I was saying, um, there's this new place that makes Korean food and it's near my place and it's new. I guess I already said that so I've been wanting to try some of their food so we're finally going there and I'm gonna hopefully try some fun Korean food like tteokbokki and stuff like that I don't really know a lot um, of Korean dishes to be honest but their food looks so so good so I'm kind of excited um, but I um, want to just give quick reading updates I don't read all that much to be very honest um, the last two days have just flown by because there were a few things going on, um, not really in my personal life, but not really at work, but rather in my social life that were just a bit much. And I feel like I was feeling very drained because of it, which is why I did not read as much. But I did read a little bit yesterday in the morning. I read a few pages of The House Across the Lake and I am now on page like nearly 150 and from what i can tell the book is so slow so far i'm getting really bored to be very honest because i already know kind of what happens at the end because the book is divided into like now and before so you know like when you're in the now you know what's happened and then in the before you're trying to get to the now but the now is not like that exciting to be very honest and you just don't know what is going on like there is nothing that's really exciting is what i mean though like i do like the setting and everything it's really fun to like not fun but rather um just very immersive to read about the setting near the lake with the house and everything and i feel like that is fun like not fun but rather that is really i would say an experience to read about but besides that i am not very happy with the thrilling aspect of it but i feel that that's because i have a lot of expectations from riley saker's books usually um but i am not gonna give up on this i am still gonna keep reading and i will like let you know once i like hit maybe the 50 percent mark on what i think about it i think i am nearly gonna be at a 50 percent mark because the book is like 300 something pages i could be wrong but um yeah i'm just gonna read a little bit more and see how i feel about it and i'll let you know but besides that i've not done any reading like i said and i'm really tired so i'm just gonna go now and eat some food relax and sleep tomorrow is a holiday by the way because it's a public holiday so i'm just gonna chill out and have a relaxing day tomorrow and that's the plan i will be ending this vlog out on friday even if i don't finish the books because I just want to chill out in this vlog, like I said, so I will keep you updated.
Good afternoon. It is 3.35 p.m. and I just got done washing hair and everything. I did tell you yesterday that it was a holiday today um, and I did not read anything because I have just been doing chores like I cleaned my room, washed my hair and all of that and I was also editing a little bit in the morning like you saw. Um, and I am now going to go and bake some brownies. So like I told you, on the weekend, I was going to bake some brownies, but I did not end up doing that. So I'm going to bake them instead today and then take them to work tomorrow for a friend as well. And um, I'm also going out today evening to the Korean place because we did try going yesterday, but it was shut. So instead, we decided to get some sushi and then watch some TV at home. And we watched a few more episodes of The Patient on Hotstar. And we're now on episode 7, I believe. I got quite sleepy while watching it, so I did not really watch the last episode very well. So I'm gonna have to, you know, just go through it again. But, um, you know, it's just getting quite intense and I do want to know what really ends up happening at the end um, to the therapist. Um, but that is all for now. I am going to be ending out this vlog today just because I feel like it's getting quite long and also I don't really plan to finish all my books or anything. Oh, I did tell you yesterday that I wa like read a little bit of the thriller, um, The House Across the Lake, and I might just read a little bit more today after I bake. Um, I did listen to a little bit more of my audiobook as well, which is My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. And that book, I feel, is coming to an end and everything is wrapping up except like there's little one, like one small thing that's happening that's like, um, you know, something that's gonna be solved later on. It's like that conflict that takes place always in rom-coms or whatever. It's not really a conflict between the two love interests, but rather something else that's happening. I don't know if I like told you about the plot of the book, but it's basically about this girl Katie who works in London and then she loses her job. Um, so she ends up going back to her, you know, like family house and she lives like on a farm and she's not really a city girl, but rather a country girl. So she decides to like be with her parents, but she does not tell her parents that she's like lost her job and then and like she hates her boss but then her boss ends up coming to her farm because they've opened this bnb &B, and then she like starts learning a lot more things about her boss's life and how um you know she isn't the perfect woman that she portrays herself to be and we also do, do follow like this guy who is her love interest who also like works in the same company and is kind of like the bigger boss if you know what i mean and um it's a good story but i don't think it's anything great i am going to be probably giving it three stars because i've been reading it for a long time and it's not something i've been wanting to read but rather reading when i have been cleaning and stuff and i don't feel it's that good maybe it's the audiobook or maybe it's just me i don't know um but anyway like i said i'm gonna go bake now and i might just listen to the audiobook and finish that we'll see i have like one and a half hour left of the audiobook it was a 12 hours audiobook so it was quite long but i'll finally be finishing that and i hopefully will read a little bit more before i step out and i'm just having a really relaxing day today so i'm feeling good about that i'm so sorry for the noise there's a little bit of work going on like construction work work beside or behind my house uh but yeah i will talk to you in the evening and end out this vlog and tomorrow is friday so i'll probably start out another weekend vlog then
So it is the evening. I just got back home. We had gone out to again try that Korean cafe, Seoul. Um, but they like did not have anything in stock and it was another bad experience. And at this point, I feel like I just do not want to go again and like try anything. I mean, we'll try and call and see if they have things in stock, but. Um, I was really annoyed because I went to eat the bookie, but they did not have that in stock. They did not have corn dogs in stock. They didn't have anything in stock except for like two, three like fried chicken dishes. And also they had bulldog, like instant noodles. But I did not want to go there and eat bulldog, which I can make at home. Like it makes no sense. So it was just so stupid. Um, so instead we ended up going to another place, which was Asian as well. And we had some uh, spicy tom yum soup. And then we had some veg pan fried noodles, which were really good i must say and then um i go back home after that i also did um go to a book sale so i um found that there's another book sale here and it's like a second hand book sale and we went there and it was fun but i did not really end up picking any book because i did not find any that really caught my eye that i wanted and i feel like i have so many books now that I have to be very selective of the books I buy, so um, yeah, because I don't want to end up having to buy another card, like a book card to keep books in, and I'm not planning to make another shelf, so yeah, I might be giving away books that I feel like I'm not going to read or that I don't like anymore so that I can make more space, but at the same time, I feel like I don't want to buy a lot of physical books and try and read on the Kindle if I feel like I'm not going to reread the book um but i also did not really read all that much today i read like a few pages of sweet temptation in the evening after baking the brownies i did bake the brownies like you saw and i did not show you the finished brownies i think but they are delicious i had some hot from the oven like after they cooled down a bit and it was delicious um i'm gonna actually go now and get some ice cream and chill in bed like after i like get ready for bed and I'll get in bed and I will eat my ice cream, maybe watch a little bit of the vlog that I was watching in the afternoon by Thorn of Pages. Um, and then I'm gonna just read and go to sleep. I'm planning to read a little bit of the thriller just because I want to kind of get through it and finish it. And um, I mean, I'm not really that intrigued by it, which is why I feel like it's a little difficult to read a lot of it. But... I will either read that or I will read Sweet Temptation, but I feel like most probably I'll be reading on my Kindle because I like to read on the Kindle while I'm sleeping because it's much easier. Um, and then that'll be the night and tomorrow's work, so I am going to be ending out the vlog here just because I'm planning to start another one tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that was it for this vlog. I hope you had a good time and I hope that, you know, it was comforting and just relaxing to watch um but i'll see you in a new vlog and yeah stay safe and take care bye